bike push-ups and everyone's like what are you doing like you look like an idiot with your bum in the air but eventually i could do this all right guys so we'll start the first exercise with the king of all calisthenics exercises for your shoulders and that is the pike push-up i'll show you what it looks like guys you're going to go down in a push-up position but then you're going to raise your feet up to your hands to your bums in the air it looks a bit stupid but gets your gains then you're going to have your shoulders over your palms you're going to then perform a push-up What I'd suggest to get maximum gains in your anterior and medial delt is to have your arms or your hands slightly shoulder width, slightly more than shoulder width apart. And then, it makes it easier if I show you this way. Don't go down like this, but lean slightly forwards. See your nose is in front of your fingers <laughs> and that's going to put a lot of emphasis on your anterior and medial delt. Great compound movement also gets your triceps, a bit of your upper chest and a bit of your upper back. Great exercise and if you want to make that harder there's two ways. One by raising your feet. You could do this with a chair, like I'm gonna show you here. Just perform the same thing. Go as close as you can, and then perform the push-ups. Or what you can do is use something like bricks, like I've got, but you don't need bricks. Something like this, so you can raise your, your hands off the floor so you can go deeper in the push-up and get a better range of motion. Just like this. Right. So you can do that or you can do both to make it harder. Keep doing that and then eventually you'll be strong enough to do the handstand push-up on a wall. All right, so now you've gotten stronger with the pipe push-up. You're banging it out. You're getting more range of motion by raising your hands. You're raising your feet and you're like, fam, I need something harder than this. Like, this is too easy. Come on. Well, I've got you. Now we're going to move on to the wall handstand push-up. So this is when you're going to like start looking quite cool. You know what I mean? So the way to do this, I prefer to go stomach to wall because um, you get more emphasis on your shoulders and it's better for the actual handstand push-up because you get the right technique. So what I like to do, starting like a pike push-up close to the wall and then you're going to slowly raise your feet higher and higher until your hands are about five to 10 centimeters away from the wall or the door like me then you're just gonna you're gonna contract your core that's important keep them straight as you can and then you're just gonna perform the push-up like you did with the pike push-up burn rep these for days so come on burn 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 now the wall handstand push-up is also a great exercise that you can do to give you the technique and the strength and the form to perform the freestanding handstand push-up. With, when you're comfortable doing the wall handstand push-up, I'd say seven to 10 reps comfortably, and you also have a good amount of balance and good amount of form in the normal freestanding handstand, which I will do a video on later on, you can eventually do the freestanding 
handstand push up, which looks like this. I remember when I was a beginner at calisthenics doing these pike push ups, and everyone's like, What are you doing? Like, you look like an idiot with your bum in the air. But eventually, I could do this. And everyone's like, Wow, that's insane, Josh. And I'm just like, It's just calisthenics. Bang. So, if you practice those progressions that I've shown you from the pike push up all the way to the wall handstand push up, you'll be able to look like a badass when you go back to the gym. Another great exercise you can do for your anterior delt or front delt is a planche progression or planche, pla planche lean. This is where I'll show you. Put this here so I don't get splinters. But, um, you're gonna be in a push up position. You're gonna place your hands out to the sides like that so it's better on your wrists. And then what you're gonna do is press your scapula up and forwards. And then you're gonna lean forwards as much as you can and hold it there. It's gonna put a lot of strain on your front delts. You're just gonna hold it for as long as you can. And then when you get good at that, you can start doing planche progressions. What a planche is, is where you literally imagine a push-up position but you're leaning that far forward that your feet come off the ground and it just looks insane like like there's no gravity there. it's mad incredible amount of strength but to progress to that you start off with your knees tucked in to the top planche looks like this hold that once you can do that for around 20 to 30 seconds you can go into the advanced tuck planche which is when your feet are parallel to the ground and that's going to make it harder then you have two more progressions called the straddle planche and the full planche that's when your legs are then extended but spread out for the straddle planche and then together for the full planche and that guys is like superhuman at the moment i'm trying to get the straddle planche i can hold it for like a fraction of a second i don't think it counts but in time i'm going to get it but issue with that is it is an isometric exercise so you are only holding one position so to get the most out of it what you can do to get bigger um, anterior delt is to do a push-up in that position. So you're going to lean forward as far as you can. Forward push-up. This is also this is a great compound movement. It's like one of the things that people in calisthenics do, like from beginner to advanced. It's called a pseudo push-up. And what that's going to do is put a lot of resistance on your shoulders, but you're also doing concentric and eccentric movement, which is going to get more bigger shoulders. And there again, you can do the planche progressions, but in, in a push-up for like the talk planche, probably elevate yourself so you can go all the way down. To put more emphasis on the shoulders, I'd say, when you come up on the pseudo planche push-up, hold it at the top and lean forward for a couple seconds then slowly go down <laughs> you're probably thinking okay josh so we've covered the front anterior doubt we've covered the mid or medial doubt but josh you haven't covered posterior doubt the rear doubts and i've got an exercise for you guys all you need is a bed sheet and possibly a pull-up bar if you don't have a pull-up bar, 
then you need to watch my new pull-up bar back and bicep workout which has this exercise, these exercises inside of it so watch that video then come back to here so what you're going to do is get a bed sheet put it over the pull-up bar so then you're going to lean as far down as you can and then you're going to pull like this rotating your arms up engaging your rear delts this is a great exercise for your posterior rear delts and also your medial delts and your rotator cuff it's also good for your back calves guys what i don't want you to do is this that's not the movement that's not going to really engage rotate up like that so that's one great exercise for your rear delts and it's going to target it more going to target more of your shoulders in that exercise another exercise that you can do which is going to engage your rear delts is a compound movement and it's called the bodyweight row you're going to sit you're going to use the bed sheet again and what you're going to do this time is now instead of rotating your arms you're just going to simply pull your arms up to your torso pulling your elbows back like that if it gets easy you can lean further down and do it That's a great one for your lats, your rhomboids, your upper back, and also your rear delts. So, those are all the exercises, guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and comment down below what video you want next. To get more videos on my home training quarantine workout series, click here. And to subscribe, you can click here. This was Joshua Simmons. Aesthetic Calisthenics, peace out.